Alright, what's up everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I have had this idea for a long time and I've been wanting to do just like some short kind of technique tutorials that will help in any style of dance just like one move that's really really foundational for me the most foundational one move for me is a body roll and it's super fun and it took me a long time to figure out how to do it so i want to make a quick tutorial to just help anybody that's trying to get a body roll or learn how to body roll it's really quite exciting so let's jump into it so the first thing we're gonna do is stretch a little bit Just the way that I learned how to body roll and the way that I kind of figured it out and the way that I feel it. So take that with whatever, take that with a grain of salt. A body roll is three main parts of your body. It is your chest, it is your pelvis, and then it is your knees. So a body roll, let me turn to the sides so you can see what my body roll looks like is this. <laughs> okay, so let's break it down. It all starts in the small point of your back. If you are standing straight up and down and you kind of bend, like push your pelvis forward and just kind of fall over. I don't know, that is the best, that's the best way I can describe it. You should feel this kind of point in the middle of your spine, which is where your back bends if you were to stick your butt out. So that is the part of your body that should be flexible because that is what starts a body roll. Start with that, find that, and just bend it. See how that feels, kind of loosen that up. Again, I'm pushing my hips and my butt backwards, and then my chest also backwards, and creating this, right, folding in half, kind of. So just try that a few times, kind of loosen that up a little bit. Woo! Okay, and then we're going to start in our chest. So try and isolate just your chest and push it forward again this pulls a little bit from that point in your back still um, because you're pushing this forward which is somewhat pushing your pelvis back and creating that little bend point in your back but it's focusing more on just pushing the chest forward don't move your shoulders a lot of people just move their shoulders like this keep your shoulders still and just push your chest forward your shoulders may move a little bit, but it's not, you're not going back with your shoulders at all. In, out, in, out, in, right? You know, however many times that you need to kind of get comfortable and see what that feels like. Once you're done with that, then we're going to try and do a body roll just to our hips. We're going to keep our hips completely still and just start a little small on our back. So you're going to push your chest forward, bend that point in your back, and stop. Push your chest forward, bend the point in your back, and stop a couple more times. Forward, back, and stop. Again, so you can see my shoulders are not moving, my head is not moving, my hips are not moving. They're completely isolating just the upper part of our body, pushing our chest forward, bending our back, engaging your core. Engaging your core is really important because that helps you control your weight. Okay, so. From there, we're gonna do the hips. I'm gonna start with the hips and the knees um, and just kind of see how that feels. Again, in the body roll, like we just talked about, you're gonna start here in your chest, go up, bend your back, and then at that point where we were at in the beginning, where our back is bent and our pelvis is pushed backwards, you're going to shift your pelvis forward, okay? You're here, your pelvis is pushed like this, I'm just about to describe it with my hands pushed backwards, like this, and you're going to push it forward. That will engage your core. If it helps to hold on to your hips, go ahead and hold on to those. As you push your pelvis forward, there should be a slight bend in your knees. Anytime you kind of push it forward just in a neutral spine position, when your hips get pushed forward, your knees should bend, right? So stand here real quick. 
and let's just try it with our pelvis. Go forwards and back, forwards and back, forwards and back. So connecting it again, starting with our chest. Start with your chest, get that slight bend in your back, and then push your pelvis forward to fall into your knees. So the knees, you don't do much with the knees. They kind of just follow the rest of your body. As your hips come forward, you just bend your knees and stand back up. It's just down and up, then down and up, right? So again, starting with the chest, pushing the chest forward. We're going to do it in steps. Chest forward, back bent, your pelvis should be back here. Your butt should be sticking out a little bit. Push your pelvis forward, engage your core into your knees, right? Chest, back, pelvis forward, fall over. Your chest kind of follows the motion of your body roll so that when you roll backwards and as your pelvis goes forward and knees bend, you kind of fall forward. Eventually, it should all become one big motion where you're just waving down your body. Chest, back, hips, knees. Chest, back, hips, knees. And try and make it all one motion. Chest, back, hips, knees. Chest, back, hips, knees. And how flexible you are, you could make it really big. <laughs> you could keep it really small. All has to do with engaging your core, bending that small point in your back, and moving your pelvis, hips, forwards and backwards. And then eventually, you'll be able to body roll, you can be dancing, doing your thing, up in the club, and then head at one of these, ooh, 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 right? It's just such a foundational skill and move, and it's just really, really fun. Hope this was helpful to you. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. For anything I didn't cover, anything you wanna know, um, I can make a follow-up video if that would be helpful to you, or just hit me up in the comments. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little mini tutorial. For more, let me know any skills you might want to learn, anything that would be interesting to you. So be patient with yourself. You will get it. Just keep practicing your emotion and that little small point in your back. All right. Thanks guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.